Hey, this is JNM, and in this video I want to show you how to bring the emissive material we created with Substance Painter back to Blender 2.8. Here's the Substance Painter project, and the first thing we have to do is to export the textures. So go to File, Export Textures, and I choose the Unity Standard Metallic Setup, that contains the albedo, normal and emission map. I choose this config because Blender needs an OpenGL normal map, and as you can see here, this configuration contains an OpenGL normal map, besides of the other textures that we can use as well in Blender. Ok, so I will export into the folder that contains the Blender project, and then I press Open Folder and here you can see the four maps. So that was the first part, now I open my Blender project again, that contains the high poly and the low poly model. First I hide the high poly one and then I make the low poly visible again. And then I open a shader editor and you can see the default principal shader for the model's material. On the right side there is a panel from the Node Wrangler add-on that comes with Blender 2.8. And if you haven't activated this add-on go to Edit, Preferences, find the Node Wrangler, Activate it and save the preferences. Once you have this, you can click the button Add Principle Setup and then select the textures that we exported with Substance Painter. And after that, we have a full PBR setup. For that, the maps Albedo, Normal, and Metallic are added to the principal shader. I changed the shading here in the toolbar, and then you can see the textures live rendered in the 3D view. But what is missing is the emission. It is not added because we need a different shader. So what I do in the shader editor is to add a new node, and this is an emission shader. To this I add a new image texture node, open the emission map that we exported with Substance Painter, and then I connect the color slots. But to add it to the output, we have to combine it with the principal shader, and for this I have to add a new node, and this is the Add Shader node. Now I plug both shaders, the Emission shader and the principal shader into the Add Shader node, and now we can at least see the green emission texture. But it doesn't have this glare effect, that we saw in Substance Painter, but when I change some settings, we can have this in Blender as well. The first one was the emission strength, that I increased for the emission shader, and after that I go to the render settings and enable the bloom effect. And then you can see this glow effect, and as we did in Substance Painter, you can play with some parameters, like the threshold, the radius or the intensity. Ok, what I also would like to show you is how to change the color of the emission, because we exported this as a green tone, which is now defined in the emission texture, and I can't change the color of the emission shader. But what I can do is to bring in an RGB curves node, and set it between the emission texture and the emission shader. And now I can adjust the curves, for example decrease the red and the green, and add a bit more blue, and also increase the brightness, and this looks really nice. So this was again an answer to a request, I hope it was understandable. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, consider supporting me as my patron, and if you have any questions regarding this tutorial, please add these to the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching, thanks for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.